Hi there world, this is Tina from TinaHills.com and this video deals with the two cards in the Tarot deck that speak of a lack of gratitude. So we know that gratitude is literally the frequency that uh, aligns us with abundance and manifestation. So what happens in our life when we abstain from gratitude? One of the uh, highest feelings you can feel is gratitude. If you just touch your heart chakra and say, I'm sorry, please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. And I really appreciate this morning that I wake, I've woken up and I have a whole day to, to create something wondrous, to create something fantastic. So what are the two cards of the Tarot deck that deal with a lack of gratitude? If you've been working with the Tarot, you probably have a good idea. If not, then let me tell you. So the first card that deals with the lack of gratitude is the Four of Cups. And, uh, all right. It's the Four of Cups. The first card that deals with the lack of gratitude. And the second card is Five of Cups. Interestingly, gratitude is an emotion and uh, the two cards that represent a lack of gratitude also happens to be from the suit of emotions. One would expect it to be a sword card, okay, where emotions are not that important. So gratitude, if considered an emotion, is not that important. But gratitude is so much more. It's like love is not an emotion. Love is a vibration. Love is the vibration. Gratitude is uh, a part of the vibration. That is love. Love and gratitude come together. So four. Fours are about foundation. Fours are about structure. Fours are about family. The four seasons. Okay, fours also um, signify change. Fours uh, are the fourth sign of the zodiac is uh, cancer. It's the fourth house deals with mother and child. So four of cups and five. Five is of course Leo, the fifth sign of the zodiac and deals with children and creativity and being childlike. So what happens when you put five of cups and four, four of cups and five of cups together? You have a lack of gratitude. Now, uh, can we look at four of cups? And this is the Druid deck, of course. It's uh, very rich in uh, Druidic imagery and symbology, Celtic symbology. So let's look at it. Let's examine it. There is a person who has this sort of callous look on the face, if you ask me, and uh, is, is looking away uh, in, into the uh, distance. He was going to bath. <laughs> into the distance and... Uh, this, this seems to be a sense of loss and lamentation on his face, okay? And he's looking at these cups, and these cups are empty, okay? And uh, there is a cup over there. So if you go back, revert to the Rider Waite Smith deck, then you will see this guy sitting in meditative silence. Um, and uh, literally, he's got these three cups in front of him, and that are all, you know dust bars built but uh, there's a like the hand of God is giving him a blessing which is a fourth cup but he refuses to acknowledge that blessing so even this person is lament lamenting about these cups that have nothing in them but the chalice of life the elixir of life is available if only they would look so definitely this is about a fallow period in life a stagnation point when we reach and we can't move forward because uh, we feel no gratitude we feel like we are going nowhere with this okay and and this is a limitation we place on ourselves so having no gratitude is actually very destructive for the human consciousness now five of cups again if you look okay uh, all these cups are all you know spilt but you have these two cups standing and the person is so busy and again the back turned towards us means it's a shadow expression it's not a direct expression an archetype if the archetype is the point in the triangle the base is a shadow okay so uh, this is somebody who is 
turned away from us, wants no interaction with the conscious living world and is more interested to see something play out in nature. Okay, and is, is not ready to accept that uh, there are still two cups that are, you know, sitting there over there. And uh, it's a blessing that this person refuses to see this blessing and and this is this speaks of unnoticed opportunities when we are not grateful for our lives then uh, you know we don't look at opportunities nothing seems to please us okay even an opportunity that comes knocking we are like oh no you know what if it's a curse and not a blessing we refuse to see beyond it and we have a sense of loss I know it's difficult and, and five of cups often has to do with death Okay. There is nothing that uh, is comforting about someone we love not being there with us. But I think that this is calling us for a higher purpose. Okay, It's saying that there is much more to death than what we perceive. Okay, And interestingly, uh, this is Five of Cups is a feeling like, okay, you know, I have something very, I had something very precious and it was taken away from me without uh, my, uh, you know, knowledge in some, some, some ways. And, you know, even if you had the knowledge that it was being taken away, you could do nothing about it. You were a mere spectator. So this person is also a spectator. If you don't have gratitude, you cannot truly participate in the drama of life and you become more of a spectator more isolated watching from uh, far away not participating okay so that's very very uh, disappointing and this can speak of bereavement as I said even the loss of an idea okay and oftentimes because this is five and Leo is the fifth house this can have to do with the rainbow child the loss of a child and uh, oftentimes when something like that happens, then nothing makes sense. You know, I'm a mother and I know nothing makes sense. But uh, it's not always about making sense. The soul is here to experience certain things and to create alchemy out of those experiences. These two figures are not interested in participation. They're not interested in the gratitude of being alive. So they're emotionally uh, segregated, okay, from the collective consciousness. They, they feel alienated. Opportunities have gone by. They have lost. They are in anger. They, they, they don't know what to do. What is the next step? They don't know. So they'd rather be reclusive and not participate. So gratitude. I, and I always tell students that if you're looking at bringing in gratitude, then you can study the body language, the micro expressions, the feeling of these cards and you can reverse that energy because once you understand that if gratitude is lacking in your life, then nothing makes sense. Nothing makes sense. Everything should, it's not always easy, but everything should be an act of gratitude. Gratitude towards spirit for having us here. Gratitude towards this, this beautiful creation the sky, the earth, the planets, the nebulae, gratitude just to be here and experience all of this. So study these two cards, journal on them if you're feeling a lack of gratitude. If you want to bring in gratitude and you're feeling like this, then it'd be very, uh, I would suggest that you journal about how you feel and how you can release and purge and find the thesis because ultimately, it is about returning to source code. And when you're in that source vibration, there is there can never be a lack of gratitude. For you are grateful for every single experience life throws at you. So that was a bit about the two cards from Suit of Emotions, Cups, Water Signs, like Cancer, um, Scorpio, Pisces, that have to do with a lack of gratitude in the true day. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Like, subscribe, uh, find me on social media and uh, let's chat. Visit my website and don't forget to book a reading and check out my merch. Thank you.